Okay, um, I know that there are a lot of uh, Plankton uh, videos online and, um, well, this is just another one. Um, I just thought I'd go into some details that I haven't seen on most of these videos. Actually, I haven't seen on any of these videos. First of all, a description of my setup. Well, obviously, there's the air pump. Got four exits. And this goes into these two, uh, sorry, four uh, small Coke bottles with the air stands in. Now this is actually quite important. Um, I've had problems of uh, cultures get, getting contaminated and um, it was basically the air pump uh, uh, pumping spores into the culture which were basically killing culture. The bottles get covered in algae and uh, really really nasty. This way the air is bubbled uh, through the air stone in the water and uh, I won't say all of these uh, impurities stay in the water. This is far from being a professional setup but it's working and uh, I haven't had a culture crash uh, for a few months now which um, and I've reached the point where I couldn't keep a culture alive more than two weeks at one point. So I'm really pleased about this. As I said, it's not a perfect solution. So I am expecting every now, every few months or so to have to renew a culture. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's as good as you can get without uh, going to excessive lengths in a, in a home setup. So yeah, that's basically my air filter. Um, then we go to the four bottles that are there. They're four three litre bottles. And well, there's not much to be said there, apart from the caps, which both the Coke bottles and the Plank bottles have. Um, I, will I will show the, the cap to you uh, later in this video. Um, there's four different bottles you probably can notice four different colors that's not uh, bottles at a different stage of culture there are four different species of plankton now I haven't seen this part in any of the videos that I've uh, found on YouTube so I hope this is of any help to people basically the problem is that if you mix different species the dominant one will take over and you'll end up with only one species and uh, traces of all the others, if at all you have any. And it's always good to have several species on uh, a culture, on a, on a plankton, because um, simply each species brings something different to the mix. Uh, I am uh, in the process of expanding this. I'll probably go to six or eight different species. One of them will be spirulina, for example. One of them will be a species that fix, fixes a staxanthine, which is a carotenoid that uh, fixes red colouring fish. So, each species is different, each species does something different, and it's better to have variety. So, there you go. Now, I was talking about the caps. So here, let's see if I can focus on it. There it is. You can see there's two holes basically. This is a, has a common screw cap of the pop bottles that you can see. So you can just screw it onto a pop bottle. You can uh, use it for homemade CO2. You can uh, use it for um, for this, as you can see. So, yeah, it's very good. I'll put the link on the um, to the eBay seller of these things, where I bought them myself, in the description. I'm sure you're going to find them very useful. As I was saying before, one needs to be careful about contamination of the culture. And that doesn't come only but from the air but also from the water when you do split the culture. What I usually do, I sterilize it with bleach. Well, with not exactly bleach. I actually bought um, sodium hypochloride 
off eBay. Again, I will put the link in the description. Um, you, if you're watching this from outside the UK, you probably won't be able to use this link, but any lab um, supplies will be able to give you this. It's really nothing special. So basically here it is. The label's a bit eaten away. But this is a 15% solution of sodium hydrochloride. Uh, each, each milliliter will completely sterilize two liters of water. Obviously you need to neutralize that. So we go to sodium tiosulfate. There it is. This is in crystals. What you do is you dissolve 75 grams of this these crystals into half a, a liter of water and each milliliter of that solution will neutralize one milliliter of the chlorine solution. Um, I'm finding myself though with a liter of um, well, half a liter of uh, this uh, thiosulfate solution and it's kind of, uh, it's still working I made it a few months ago, but it's still working, fine, uh, neutralizing the chlorine, but um, it started to look a bit strange. So what I'm going to do from now on is to dissolve 25 grams of it into half a liter and use three times as much. So basically three milliliters of the solution um, for one milliliter of uh, the chlorine solution. That way I should be able to basically use up the solution more quickly and uh, I'll just have to make more, simple as that. I'll be pretty much using um, the same amount of the crystals in any case. Now I used to dose this plankton to my uh, reef tank every, every day, twice a day actually. What I've started doing instead is, there it is, that is my old um, phytoplankton reactor, I'm not using this anymore, uh, but I'm using it now for uh, growing um, copper pods, rotifers and so on. It's a nice mix in there and uh, it's, uh, well there's not much to say, they're growing like uh, well, <laughs> like rabbits, I suppose you could, should say. Um, growing very fastly, they're very, very dense in there. And I simply dose that mix there. It has phytoplankton, what the critters haven't uh, eaten, and the critters themselves. So, yeah. Basically, I use the phytoplankton to feed the reactor and feed the, from the reactor to the tank. Simple as that. Ah, yes, one thing. Um, I had problems when I was dosing plankton with my reef tank with salinity growing, going up. Now this is something that usually you don't consider until you start dosing this stuff in the quantities I was, which is a couple of pints a day, pretty much. Um, salinity goes up, because obviously you're putting salt in. So what I've resorted to doing, I use a pint glass, just take out a pint of water, and then put a pint of plankton in, simple as that. I mean, it's obvious really, but you have to think about it. So that's uh, pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, it is really, really simple. You, you really need uh, just a moment to think about it and everything makes sense. But uh, there it is. I mean, I've tried it, I've experimented, and uh, there it is. So, there it is, four different species, separate four fil air filters and a powerful air pump. That's about it.